Hey folks, so on today's episode, we're gonna take a look at this guy right here. It's just a collapsible roasting fork, and we're gonna make it into this, a pocket bellows. Stay with me. All right, so what is this thing? Well, it is a pocket bellows. You'll notice I have a little pull tab right here. I just used a keychain because I had them laying around. You could use a bit of wire. You could use just about anything, but that's just to help you pull it out, right? That's all it is. So you pull it out, you can extend it out, air comes out this end, you blow on this end, and because these are relatively cheaply made and they're really not truly stainless steel, when you blow through them, you put a lot of moisture in there and so they tend to rust and this, this will help you both collapse and pull them out. They do want to stick a little bit. So what are you going to need to make that guy? Well, you're going to need a hammer, you're going to need a nail, you're going to need some type of this is a car ring a split key ring some type of cutting tool i used a pipe cutter you could use a hacksaw um, you just have to be careful because these are hollow you don't want to collapse the tube you just want to cut it off so and then of course you need your expanding uh, fork your marshmallow stick or hot dog stick so this is just what this packaging looked like if you want on Amazon, you would literally find dozens of these. So anyway, so all I do is, of course, I just pull off the orange handle. Ugh, can be a little tricky. Typically put that in the trash. And then I'm just going to extend it out a little bit. And I'm going to put it in my cutter. And I'm going to go as far up as I can, just like that. And then you're going to tighten your cutter down. So tighten. Oops, I'm going to back it off a little bit here. So you're going to tighten it, and then you're going to roll this around in the cutter. Tighten it some more. And just like that, it pops off. And then you're left with that. So, <clears throat> the next step I do, and of course, here it is. But the next step, and you can see that this guy was just welded on right so that's also trash set that off to the side if you have a center punch it really comes in handy just puts the ever smallest divot right there <clears throat> and then you can take your sharp punch nail set whatever you got and it'll give you a place to to put that down Typically, I hold it with my fingers as I do this. And then you're just going to punch a hole in it just like that. And that gives you that hole right there. And then all you do is just take this split car ring. I normally use a screwdriver to kind of help me save my fingers there and do one of these with it so that I can then put it in to my contraption here. And then once you get it started, just like that, you're just gonna roll it around until it's locked in place. And there you go. Well, thanks for joining me today for this really simple but effective project. This would make a fantastic 4-H, Boy Scout, Girl Scout, or just general preparedness. You need one of these in your fire kit. It's fantastic to get that fire going, particularly if you have, you know, not so great wood. Maybe it's a little wet. Maybe it's damp. Whatever the case is, these are great. You can sit down and make a bunch of sizes and do a bunch of them relatively quickly. That's why it would make a great, you know, project to do at Boy Scouts or 4-H or whatever, because you can easily get it done in an hour, and just about everybody could do it. So I think I have right at around a dollar and a quarter, dollar fifteen or so in each one of these it depends on you know depends on whether you're going to use wire or these split key rings uh, and what size of these you get but go to Amazon there are tons of deals on these expandable marshmallow or hot dog forks they come in a bunch of different sizes uh, there even are some different colors out there if that's important to you but these are remarkably inexpensive and remarkably remarkably effective so as always, if you like this type of videos, please do me a huge favor. Support our content. Like, share, comment. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that little bell icon. 
And as always, be safe and be good.